Right now, a husband, father of two, and counselor at his local church is missing in Metro Atlanta, and his family believes he's in danger. Take a look. This is Marvin Harkes. He was last seen February 2nd, and he's been missing now for 12 days. He was last seen on surveillance video walking away from his job in Norcross off of Jimmy Carter Boulevard near I-85. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn is live outside the area Marvin was last seen in Cody. Is Marvin still believed to be out there on foot? That's what we believe right now, Jennifer. I'm right behind where he was last seen at his job. And take a look. That is his actual work van behind me. Marvin's wife tells me his personal car is parked in their driveway. His family reached out to us hoping someone has seen him in the last two weeks. Friday, February 2nd, Beatrice Diaz Harkis says her husband showed up to his job here at Adapt Health in Norcross. And he clocked in that day. Shortly after, she says Marvin stepped outside. And then his boss saw him around 7.30 outside talking on the phone. When he didn't come back in. Came back out to look for him. He was gone. Marvin's work truck was still parked. He left everything behind. His company and personal phones found a few hundred yards away, scattered in a wood line. Marvin's company jacket found in this dumpster across the street. We are puzzled. This is, he never done this before. A surveillance camera from a business next door caught Marvin walking along their fence line, setting off more red flags. The way he was acting, he don't seem like he was in his head mind. As we watch the video. He sits down. Yeah. Beatrice says it's just not like her husband. This is not him. This is not him at all. He's probably out there somewhere. Worried he could be in danger. He doesn't have a jacket. He doesn't have a phone. Beatrice says Norcross police searched the area, even using a helicopter. But so far, no sign of Marvin. Now she's holding out hope, remembering the last thing he said. We hug, we kiss like every, you know, every day. And he said, I'll see you later. And that was it. Hoping Marvin will walk back in their door. He's not okay. This is not his character. This is not who he is. Beatrice says he was recovering from the flu. She says she knows he wasn't 100% when he showed back up to work on that Friday morning, February 2nd, and just not sure if that played into that bizarre behavior she saw on that surveillance video. We did reach out to Norcross Police for an update, but have not yet heard back. His family just hoping he's okay tonight.